Hello everybody, this is Claudio Quavivi speaking again. In our last video, we will implement a basic access control policy based on Okta's groups and claims. Open ID Connect claims, according to the official specification, are a piece of information asserted about an entity, name, family name, picture, etc., are claim examples for users. On the other hand, Open ID Connect scopes or a group of claims. So for this fourth video, we're going to define a new claim based on an Octa group. The claim will be included in all scopes defined. On the other hand, the Connect OIDC plugin will, to allow the con route consumption will check if the coming tokens have this specific claim included. Only users who are part of the Octa group will have the claim included in the token and therefore will be able to consume the route. So let's check our Okta configuration now. First of all, I have created two users and one group. Here are my users and here's the con group. And uh, as you can see, the group has only one member. Again, the new claim will be based on this group, so only its members will have permission to consume the Kong route. And uh, here's the new Kong claim definition. It is based on the Kong group and is going to be included in any scope for each access token issued. So now let's run a token preview to check the tokens and the claim out. For the first request, I'm going to use the user who is not a Kong group member. The Oct application is the same authorization code we used before. Grant type is authorization code, and uh, we're going to use the standard open ID scope. As expected, the access tokens doesn't have any con claim inside of it. However, if you use the other user, since he belongs to the con group, the access token will be different. Here's the con claim inside our token. Now let's check our Kong route with the OIDC plugin enabled. So here's the service, the version, the route, and the plugin. As you can see, the new parameters are saying that the plugin should check if the token has the con claim with the fine in Okta. So in this sense, the route should be consumed only by users who are members of the con group. Now you're ready to consume the route using both users. Similar to what we've done in Okta's token preview process, for the first request, I'm going to use the user who is not included in the con group. As expected, we shouldn't be able to consume the route. We'll try to consume the route, but since we don't have any token injected inside our request, the API gateway is redirecting us to Okta so we can present our credentials. And after getting authenticated, Okta is redirecting us back to the API gateway. However, since the token doesn't have the claim inside of it, the gateway won't allow us to consume the route. And now let's use the other user who is member of the con group. Again, we try to consume the route, getting redirected to Okta, but this time we're going to use the second user. Again, after getting 
authenticated, Okta is going to redirect us back to API Gateway. However, this time our token has got the, uh, the, the con claim defined in Okta previously. As a matter of fact, if we go to jwt.io website, we'll be able to decode the JWT token and check uh, the token and the claim inside of it. That concludes the last video of our series. I hope you have liked it again. Thank you so much.